Welcome everyone. I appreciate you spending time with me today. I hope you find this training class valuable to you. Today I want to talk to you about six money-making activities. We're going to call them MMAs, six money-making activities in a really changing world with us right now. Obviously with the coronavirus, we're all having to make adjustments in our business. So I want to share with you a sales process that will never go out of style and I'll guarantee you, you'll have a better closing ratio. So today I want to use an acronym by the name of PAPCAR. PAPCAR is by far the best salesperson I've ever met. So let me show you uh, and share with you some techniques here that might be able to help us. So P is for prospecting. You guys probably already knew that, but PRE is for prospecting. All right, so what do we, why do we prospect? We prospect and lead generation to do what? To get a lead, okay? And once we get the lead, what do we want to do? We want to set an appointment. So we're going to call this appointment, okay? So in order to set an appointment, we need a date, time, and a place. Now, realize these are unusual times right now. Now, that appointment might be via Zoom, might be via FaceTime, or maybe just a phone call. But at that appointment, we want to now do what? Set a time to present, okay? Value. We want to present value. We don't want to show up without a presentation and just wing it. Most of our competition or your competition and mine too, they're just showing up and winging it. They have no presentation whatsoever. So perhaps your company, your manager, your team leader will have a presentation that you can use. If not, we can help you create one for you. And there's so much information in our community uh, out there that we can go ahead and help you with that. All right, once we present value, we want to go in and close. We get it, we need to get a commitment from the borrower, a signature, a commitment to move forward, okay? You want your customers to buy into you because you built trust. Now, after we close, we move into the next section, which is aftercare. So aftercare, is important, okay? Now, a lot of times buyers will have buyer's remorse the very next day. Perhaps you didn't do a great job of closing, presenting enough value, and they get cold feet. This happens. What you wanna do is re-engage your client, resell the client, reassure them as to why they chose you. Aftercare is used. A lot of people miss this step. Now, with our aftercare program, we actually use the, the art of home ownership. For those of you that don't know what that is, Please give me a call. I would love to share with you what the art of home ownership is and how we engage our clients. This can also be automated today. Okay, there's a lot of great tools and systems out there that will automate the aftercare system. Now, aftercare, you do a great job. That'll lead to referral. Okay, so I'm just gonna abbreviate that for the meantime. So obviously, we're in the business to optimize our customer referrals. Okay, and we're in the business to get referrals. We want to help as many families as possible. If we do a good job presenting, we're going to get referrals. Now, we want to get a commitment objective from our customers. Okay, this is what we do. This is what we get right here. Okay, commitment objective. All right, now, we prospect to get a lead. That's a knee, by the way. All right, to do what? We prospect to get a lead to set an appointment, okay? In order to set an appointment, guess what we need? Date, time, and place, okay? Date, time, and place. Perhaps that may not be in person right now, okay? We're using Zoom right now. You may be using FaceTime, whatever technology you're using, okay? I would say, and in some cases, if you're a real estate agent, because I work with a lot of real estate agents, as long as you're using, taking precautions, face-to-face uh, -face appointment may be appropriate for you. Now, once we get a date, time, and place, we want to present value. We want to have a nice presentation, professional presentation. We want to set you apart from the competition. We want to do what? We want to create credibility. We want to differentiate ourselves from our customers, and we want to build trust. Credibility, differentiate yourself from your customers, and build trust. Okay, that's what we want to do. Now, that happens, that's going to make the close 
a lot easier, okay? Now, if you have a great presentation, you should just be able to ease naturally into the clothes. It shouldn't have to, you shouldn't have to be struggling. If you're struggling with the clothes, perhaps we didn't present enough value. Go back, represent, go back and reclose. Now, once we close, we're gonna get a commitment, okay? Right, we wanna get a commitment. So I'm just gonna abbreviate that, C-O-M, commitment. Now, once we get a commitment, we wanna take care of our customers. And this is called aftercare, guys. At this point in time, what we wanna do uh, is we wanna make sure that we get three letters out of this, W-O-W, we wanna wow our customers, okay? You want your customer to say, wow, that was a great experience. You were different from everybody else I spoke to. If you can get a wow, most likely, you're going to get a referral. Let me just get that out there, okay? And once we get a referral, guess what we do, guys? We come back, start the process all over again. That's what we're gonna do. Now, this creates structure, order, and predictability. And in these uncertain times right now, this is what we're looking for. You cannot miss any one of these steps. If you, if you cheat the system, you miss a step, you will not be able to close as efficiently and you're gonna, your closing ratio won't be as high, guys. I'm telling you right now. Structure, order, and predictability. Hope you guys found this class useful. I'm looking forward to working with you. All my information will be at the bottom of the video. Let's go out and have a powerful day today.